Hey guys, Genius Your Bad Guy here again, and if you're tired of my voice by now, you should probably just join Puxnar United and cover for me when when I'm gone for a month. Anyway, we're watching DJ Fab, who is 506 on Common League versus Sokolov, who is 510 on Common League. So this guy's better. Come on, so club, step up. Seems like Sokolov is playing a Wizard BG, pretty standard. Uh, don't know why he plays the Fae there, but let's see. If he if he uses combined effort now, he's gonna get nine aura, then plus six from that, so fifteen plus twelve from her. Ooh, Tower of Amrit, so that's gonna be, let's see. Withering Fern, not a... Hmm, I wonder how much damage she can actually... Huh? What's this gonna do? person for that. Um, hmm. So it seems like DJ Fab is using uh, Leia's Soul Bond BG. By the way, doing this, the Grand Evasive and Reflectus actually does nothing. For soul bond, soul bond is just like this weird ability that makes it um, well. Here's kind of how it works: you cannot get poison, stunt, or just anything at all unless you use something weird like this, withering fern, which actually gives you a minus one defense condition. And then, for if you attack it with something that has a DLT, say poison, then it will only take one damage from the fern, and the other damage will be distributed to the other units. That's the only way in which you could stun or poison a um, soul bond unit, because they don't take damage and they just splash it to the other soul bonders. I'm not exactly sure why it does that, but I'd assume Sunder works too. I don't know, just some trivia, because I played this PG. Well, the ISSP variant anyway, which is way better. Huh.
Sorry about my share squeakiness. Alright, so, uh, not a lot going on. It's pretty much just this guy. He's just gonna soul bond the shit out of Sokolov and going to use the heal mask to keep them alive. For this tactic, I just prefer my ISSP because, uh, I don't know, the, the whole point of soul bond is to spam as many units as possible, right? So, then, well, the SP bonus helps you just spam them faster. Then what you can do is just use armory and start using equipments like spike and suddenly the soul bond di distribution is just uh, mitigated by, I don't know, you can use the spikes, you can use 12 Nora Tempest crowns if you want to heal up something, you can, I don't know, there's just a lot of neat equipments that you can use in SP, like Slaver Whip. Um, Cyclops side belt, and then you got stuff like the Priest of Balak, the Meat Pies, uh, Fish Color Mika has heal mass too. I guess DJ Fab has finally decided to move in. Let's see what he does. Key strike. Plus 14 damage. You know, supercharge 2 and key strike might as well be escalation 2 or just close to it. It's a really, really scary ability on the monks. Well, they are not monks anymore. I wonder if they are. Uh, let's see. This. Yeah, they are class monk. They were just renamed to Blue Fist and Red Fist. Melee hate. Built in with your ranged units. Now I see how it is, Sokolov. Now I see. You make all these ranged units and you give them melee hate. So you can use them in ranked. And beat uncommon leaguers with him. <sighs> Main loss. I wonder if he's just gonna rush the shrine because he doesn't seem that interested in the side fund anymore. <laughs> Not that these guys are gonna die anytime soon. At any point, this guy, because he's playing ST, IS, he could just drop an Impervious or uh, Divinity Touch, Righteous Deflection, mm, Divine Favor. There's just a lot of ways in which. Well, what are you doing? So, suck. You're, you're not contesting that font.
What's going on? Last time I played Corpse, I beat him three times in a row. Burn Pyro. Last time I played Corpse, he spawned like six aspects of dead. And kill the backs I had just deployed. Only one turn. Then he offered a uh, friendly quit. Offered. Hmm. I wonder if he's just going for it. Yeah, let's see. If he has two bullseyes, he could. Oh no. He's just going to kill the Arcanist. He can do it. Just move in, attack with 8 damage, that's it. Get the globe, teleport into the font. <laughs> Cross your fingers. Move 3 spaces into the font and manic. So you capture it. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. He can contest with a font. Hey, look. This guy got the two auras from the... Um... Jungar. Huh. Premonition, not a bad upgrade. I've been thinking about running that instead of se severe summons, but I hate constructs a lot. I guess it does help a lot in this matchup because of key strike and charge fist. So red fist is pretty much forced to deal with stuff with its own um, just stat strength. No, it key strike should still work. Just not the fist, although a normal attack should be, let's see, 29. What are these guys even talking about? Twenty-nine. Wait, did he have strain mobility? Because that's that's a legit upgrade in this BG. Yep, that's what I do too. Counter attack range and train mobility are just like the best upgrades for this guy. I think he only has um, train defense and maybe another train ability that I don't remember. Let's see, main loss has 16 damage, so that's like. 12, 13 trying damage. If Sock runs Bullseye, he could finish that trying, I don't know, probably in two rounds. There's a Wisp. One, two, three, four. Five six, so he should still be able to contest. 
with a rug. Yeah, there we go. Twelve, twelve. So he can, he can just destroy that shrine next turn with um, bullseye. Hell, he doesn't even need bullseye. He can just attack normally with this thing and the wisp and the fey. Charge fist. Oh no, it has impenetrable. Oh man, I would love to commentate on this game, but I'm just so entertained by the shit talk that's going on here. I think we just resolved the game anyway, right? Right? It's pretty much going to be a whoa. <laughs> Maybe not. So the bluefish kills those two units with. Wait. So it is 3-5 in... Hmm, wait, is this Savage Chandra? I wonder if what that for one form guy said is true. If it's just... Um, Forty with a war banner. I don't know if this is supposed to be Forsaken Waste or... I mean, the border suggests that it is Forsaken Waste, but I don't know. So, suck backs down. Wonder why. Let's see, one to three. Oh, he's still within range, so I suppose he's just gonna force a transfigure or else just going to win with the double attack and magic bomb. And there's the legendary key strike, 33 unmitigated damage. Yep. There we go. Not going to be enough, however.
so one dead layers coming up hmm seems like the train evasive and reflexes is really going to pay off because now that he doesn't have soul bond it is actually going to mitigate the damage uh, yep or not why is it taking 16 and then 8 wait which fey attack was it her or yeah it was her um, i don't understand why it had evasive and reflexes everyone saw that but Melee hate. Alright, let me open the chat so we don't miss any of the shit talk. I'm not even reading at this point, but I'm just gonna scroll up so I can just read it later. Wait, this is still font powered? Oh, it's just Pariah. Okay. So, it's going to die. The Wisp. Just from the Auras. Good. Good. I hate Wisp. Ooh, one damage short, so that font is going to be contested for another round, meaning DJ Fab is not going to be able to deploy. Now that I think about it, um, going back to that metamorph, that ability is hella bug. When you when you go back to your original form, the abilities are on cooldown for some reason, and you, it's like you can click them, but they are supposed to be on cool. Melee hate. See now, these two can keep <laughs> those guys locked forever. Alright, so um, let's say this chick was metamorphosis, m metamorphosized, hell I don't know. I'm gonna go with morphosis because I like Power Rangers. So anyway, um, she would come off cooldown and all these abilities would be wiped out. Not great as, if, as in when they are on cooldown, but just wiped out out and and you can't use them you can click them but well the attack is fine but let's say these two would be on cooldown too I think if you just recover from uh, metamorphosis by letting it time out not sure on cleanse um, what else Units that transform are also pretty buggy. I remember I used uh, what's it called? Soul Feed or Coward Reach. I don't remember. I used that on an Elder Blood Bloodbinder. Then she went to Raven Raven form to try and cleanse up the spell. Then she went back to um, her. I don't know what you'd call that other form original form yeah then she went back to her original form and she was still range one and she was stuck with range one forever I, I remember I reported that bug but I don't know if it was fixed oh okay 
Now I remember. Now I see it. Sokolov just cast Overgrowth. Wait, where's that damage even coming from? What was that sound? Um. So down goes the blue fist, but now there's just no way to can't wait. Is Suck going to dump an AoE on that or what? Yep, Torn Collection and Magic Nova. <laughs> or not. Apparently it's not the Yeah, it's just rank one. He probably got confused because he doesn't have Throne of the Circle. <laughs> Throne Collection gets buffed to 14 damage now. Seems legit. Seriously though, Soul Blunt is so, so dumb. Now there is absolutely no way to damage the Paragon. That's because this guy was impervious. And hey, these gals just <laughs> lock these two down forever. Hmm. <laughs> Minus 11. D oh, there's the bullseye. So I guess this is what ends the game. Yep. 21 damage from mana loss. 
And that's the end of the game. Uh, sorry for the bad commentary, by the way. <laughs>